morning everyone and welcome back to virtual story time from your very own Newark Public Library. Uh, as always, we're recording this live story stream on land that rightfully belongs to the Lenape Indian Tribe. And if you are tuning in from anywhere in our fair city of Newark, New Jersey, it is likely that you are on land that rightfully belongs to the Lenape Indians as well. I am your host, Mix Alley. That is Mix, just like Mix It Up. Um, <laughs> I usually say mixing bowl, so I just mix it up. Get it? Uh, <laughs> um, so mix, like mix it up, not like Mr., Ms., Mrs., or Miss, because as you can see for yourselves, I am not a boy, nor am I a girl. I'm a unicorn. And so is my steadfast storytelling companion. Please welcome back the one the only Jonathan Van Unicorn. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Jonathan, how are you doing this morning? You know what, Mick Sally? Oh, what, Jonathan? I've, honestly, I've been feeling a little anxious lately. A little, a little bit fearful, a little bit scared, a little bit grumpy and angry. It, it's been a hard few days. Yeah, you know what, Jonathan? I I really feel that. What's, um, do you have any idea what's been causing you to feel that way? Well, you know what, McSally? I, I, I sort of do. You know, I, I understand that in human land, uh, there have been a lot of problems lately frankly, more problems than even you humans normally have. And, and, um, I think part of it is that I'm worried about humanity as a whole. But, you know, sometimes, McSally, sometimes I feel this way, and I, I don't even know why. It just comes upon me. Jonathan, I, I really understand that. I think that's a pretty common experience. Um, a lot of a lot of folks who are watching might be feeling a little bit more anxious than they normally do right now um and they you know sometimes you know why you feel anxious a lot of people have a lot of really good reasons to feel anxious especially right now um but it can it can happen without you knowing why too um there there can be all sorts of reasons to to feel those feelings well i don't like it at all all. <laughs> I don't think anyone really does, Jonathan. Um, but you know what? We have a story to read today that I'm hoping might help. Do we? We do. Uh, it is called Find Your Calm. It is a mindful approach to relieve anxiety and grow your bravery. Oh, I want to... Well, I'm always brave, but I, I want to know I can be brave even when I'm feeling scared. I think that's what we all want, Jonathan. I think we all want and need that um, real badly. Human, unicorn, whatever we are, um, those, are, those, are, those are pretty normal things to want. Well, I, I'm very glad that this book is going to show us how to do that. Yeah, me too. Um, do you feel like maybe you are ready to like settle down, get comfortable and um, and listen to this story and maybe it'll make you feel a little bit better? Oh, absolutely. I'll, I'll just go right over here and, you know, honestly, listening to stories always makes me feel a little less worried about everything anyhow. <laughs> yeah, me too, Jonathan. Um, I'm really glad that we have that in common and I hope that that's true for some of the folks watching as well. All right, all right, I'm ready to relieve my anxiety and grow my bravery. All right, my darling. Okay. Um, well, as Jonathan and I said, we're going to start off with this um, picture book, Find Your Calm, A Mindful Approach to Relieve Anxiety and Grow Your Bravery by Gabby Garcia with illustrations by Marta Piniella. Um, I'm going to turn the lights down. There we go, so that you can all see the pages better. Um, and I really 
I really hope that um, whatever you are feeling, um, whatever you're going through, you're all taking really good care of yourselves. And this book, um, I hope, will help you learn some new ways to do that if that has been hard for you lately. Here's Find Your Calm. Anxiety can feel big and powerful. It can show up suddenly without warning. It startles me. Sometimes it seems to go everywhere that I do. So this character is feeling anxious, feeling anxiety. In case you haven't heard the word anxiety before, anxiety is a lot like worry or fear or dread even. Um, you just feel, you don't quite feel safe. You're worried about just a lot of stuff going on. That's what we mean when we say anxiety. In my class at school, it brings a jumble of thoughts racing through my head. It makes it hard to think clearly. Yeah, when you're feeling anxious, when you're experiencing anxiety or worry, it can be hard to focus on anything else. Before getting on the school bus, my body feels like it's moving in every direction. I am overwhelmed. At the doctor's office, I freeze. It's just too much to handle. Are there particular times of the day or particular things that you do that make you feel really anxious? For this character, it's the doctor getting on the school bus. It can really help to think about what are the times what are the times in our day? What are the things that we do that can make us feel worried or anxious? Because when we start to notice it, then we can take care of it. When anxiety comes crashing in like thunder, it can feel scary. Ooh, this picture is showing someone being chased by a bear. They're not really being chased by a bear. But this character telling us about their own experience of anxiety and worry is saying that feeling anxious feels like being chased by a bear, or it feels like thunder sounding really loud. Dad explained to me that feeling anxious or worried is normal. Everybody feels this way sometimes. It's the way our body and brain let us know that there's danger. Those feelings can be helpful if there really is a threat, like a bear chasing you. But most of the time, it's a false alarm. We're not really in danger. So we need to feel a sense of safety again so that we can feel calm. This is kind of what Jonathan and I were saying before. When we feel worried, when we're on edge, when we're looking around like, oh my gosh, what, like, what's going to happen next? We feel like we're being chased by a bear. It's our body's way of making us look around and say, is there a bear chasing me? What, what would I need to do if there were, right? Um, but a lot of the time, we feel so scared that it's as if the bear is right there when really, even if there's something really real for us to worry about, sometimes that thing we're worried about might be very far away um, or just, you know, sometimes we might be feeling that way um, without there being a threat. Um, either of those things can happen. Now that um, humans do not live out in the woods where they are often being chased by bears. 
a lot of the time we don't need to feel quite as scared as we do. Here's what I do to help me feel safe. I look around and scan for reminders of safety, big and small. A friendly face, a color or shape, a tree or a flower, anything my eyes land on that is familiar, comforting, or calming to me. So earlier we talked about what are the things in our days, in our lives, that we notice make us feel worried or anxious, it can help a lot to also notice the things that make us feel calm and safe and peaceful. That way, when we start to feel anxious, if there's real danger, we run away or we get an adult. We, we, get, we save ourselves however we need to. But on the other hand, if whatever you're scared of is not right there chasing you right now, there are things that you can think about that might help you remind you that even though you're scared, you're safe right now. Think about what some of those things are for you. I also use my other senses to become aware of my surroundings. I can pay attention to what I hear, smell, touch, or taste. This helps my mind and body focus on what's happening right now. I pay attention to my breath in and out. There's no rush. There's no danger. Let's practice that together. Let's take a big deep breath in. Hold it for a second and let it out. One more time. Oh, that's a great way to remind your body that it is safe. I am ready to pay attention to how anxiety shows up in my body. I feel the thump, thump, thump of my chest as I wait for my turn in the class show and tell. I notice the jiggle in my legs before climbing onto the school bus. I pay attention to the tight squeeze on my shoulders when it's my turn to see the doctor. But that anxiety doesn't take over. I notice my feet on the ground Hey, are your feet on the ground right now? Try doing this with our main character here. Wherever your feet are, feel them, wiggle your toes. I notice the weight of my body connected to the earth beneath me. My breath deepens. Slowly, I'm ready to move. My thoughts quiet down and I think, I can do this. I love that our character says, I can do this. The thing that's really hard about anxiety and worry is that sometimes they make us feel frozen and stuck, like we can't do anything. But when we know how to calm ourselves down and keep ourselves safe, that's when we start to be able to be brave. 
because we realize that we can move and we can do things. So if there's a really good reason, which there sometimes is for us to be worried, we can calm down and then we can do something about it. My bravery grows. I feel its strength in my legs. Then notice as it spreads to my chest. I stand more powerfully and I move more confidently. I'm okay. I'm safe. My body pulses with bravery's rhythm. Bravery can live inside you just like worry can. And you can choose to help your bravery shine. I was nervous speaking in front of the class during show and tell, but I did it. The shot at the doctor's office hurt, but I got it. Riding the school bus was hard at first, but I am proud of myself because now I do it every day. Anxiety still storms in, but I know what to do. I use my breath and my senses to connect with safety in my body and to find my calm. When I do this, my bravery grows and I know I can get through this. Sometimes I get through it on my own and sometimes with the help of somebody I trust. Aww. Like a friend or a puppy. A lot of the time, my cats really help me when I'm feeling anxious. And that is the end. And just to review, here are some suggestions for grounding activities when you feel anxious. A lot of them are the ones that the character did in this book. Grounding activities. Anxiety is a normal emotion that everybody feels sometimes. However, sometimes it can feel overwhelming and keep you from doing things you want or need to do. Grounding activities can help settle your racing thoughts and help you focus on what's happening in your mind and your body at the moment. This can help you slow down and feel calmer so that you can try to figure out what to do next. Here are a few grounding activities that you can practice. Give them a try and decide which ones are best for you. Practicing these throughout your day can help teach your brain and your body that you're safe when anxiety sends you a false alarm. All right, we are about to learn a few activities you can do if you feel anxious. The first one, scan for safety. Try practicing these as we read about them. Slowly turn your head and your eyes and notice what's around you. Let your eyes land on whatever catches your attention. It can be a friendly face, a color or shape, or anything else your eyes land on that's familiar, comforting, or calming to you. Let's try it. Look into my right, look into my left, oh, I see one of my favorite paintings on the wall over here. I'm going to sit and look at it for a while. That really helps. All right. That was our first grounding activity. We got scan for safety. Here's our second one. Use your senses. Use your five senses to become aware of your surroundings. We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. Name five things you see, 
four things you feel, three things you hear, two things you smell, and one thing you taste. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I can see my computer, my lamp, my earrings, and my coffee cup, and an eraser. Four things that I feel are my toes on my ground, my behind on my chair, my hand touching the chair uh, to demonstrate that that's where my behind is, and oh, I feel my glasses touching my nose. Three things that I hear are my own voice, <laughs> um, the fan in my room, and I can't really hear anything else right now, but that counts as something to notice. I smell my coffee and the perfume that I wear, and I'm going to just have one taste of coffee to finish off. That's our second grounding activity. Use your senses. We've got scan for safety. We've got use for use your senses. Number three, so easy. We already learned it. Breathe. Notice your breath as you inhale. That means breathe in. And exhale, which means breathe out. Place your hand on your belly. And notice your hand as it moves in and out. Imagine you're filling up a balloon and let it fill up your whole body. All right, let's try that now. Hands on our bellies. Great big balloon. I love that one because you can use it anytime. And our final fourth strategy we're going to learn is to connect with your body. Stand up and feel your feet as they press firmly on the ground. Notice the connection between your feet and the ground below and feel the weight of your body. Or you can also do this while you sit in a chair. Notice where your body is supported by the chair. Pay attention to where your body makes contact with it and let it support you. Take a moment to try that, either standing or sitting. Really feel how your body is safe. It's supported by the chair you're sitting in or by your feet on the ground or whatever else you're sitting on or in, if it's not a chair. Nice work. You learned four activities just now that you can use any time that you need to feel less worried. Scan for safety. Use your five senses. Breathe and connect with your body. Which one did you like the most? My favorite is the connect with your body one because sometimes when I'm anxious, I'm thinking about so many things. Um, I get really worried and it's hard to even remember, like I'm here in my body and nothing is gonna hurt me here in my room. I would love to hear which one you like the most. Whew. Well, you know what? Normally, this is where we would read some of our chapter book, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. But honestly, today, I feel really calm after doing those exercises and reading that book. And so I think I'd like to spend a couple of minutes just enjoying that feeling and do some unicorn dancing with you all because dancing is a great way to celebrate it when you feel safe and comfortable 
in your body. So I'm going to get Jonathan Van Unicorn and some music, and we are going to rock out to some unicorn music together. All right, get on your feet and get ready to dance with us, or we're going to let you make the choice. Um, if you're feeling really comfortable just sitting down and breathing and feeling your toes and experiencing whatever your five senses are experiencing, we'll just add this music to the things that you're experiencing and you can enjoy that. I think it would feel really good if Jonathan Van Unicorn and I, since we just learned about feeling brave, we're going to listen to the song that makes Jonathan and I feel the most brave. Here it is. <laughs> 